Citizens speak out as people across the globe continue to demand basic human rights and freedoms along with greater government participation they gather in solidarity for protests in nations that include Iraq or Vietnam Bahrain China Jordan Palestine Tunisia Turkey and Yemen Reuters stated that as of Friday May 6th the Oulak Seas or Vietnamese government sealed off a region where a group of ethnic Hmong in the country's northwest had been protesting for days calling for greater autonomy The unrest is being reported as the worst in 7 years with as many as 7000 people gathered and 28 deaths. Tunisian police used tear gas and batons to disperse a small group of protesters calling for the government to resign. The demonstration began after the former regime's interior minister Farhat Raji made comments on a radio program that raised concerns about the current government being controlled by the old regime. Amnesty International reports the number of Chinese activists being detained after speaking out against government policies and actions continues to grow, including human rights lawyer Li Xiangbing and former magazine journalist Zhang Jialong, both of whom have gone missing in the past few days after encounters with Beijing police. In Yemen, hundreds of thousands of protesters demonstrated Friday, releasing thousands of balloons to blow over President Ali Abdullah Saleh's official residence with messages saying that he should leave. Lawyers representing five Bahrainis filed a lawsuit at the International Criminal Court in Belgium on Friday, accusing the regime of using torture and repressing citizens who are marching for human rights and democratic representation. As video footage emerges of Bahraini security forces setting an activist house on fire by shooting at it with inflammatory tear gas. Syrian troops backed by tanks stormed the city of Banias Saturday in their latest efforts to quell protesters' demands for reform, shutting off communication and electricity, and positioning gunboats off the shore of the coastal city. European Union members on Friday had agreed to impose sanctions on 14 Syrian officials involved in the violent suppression of protesters by freezing all their assets and banning them from any form of travel within the European Union. The move, which also includes an arms embargo against the country, was welcomed by the UK's Foreign Secretary William Hague, who stated, "The EU is sending a clear message that we will act against those who brutalize peaceful protesters and seek to repress their legitimate aspirations for reform." With deep sadness for the loss of life, we pray for all discord among the world's citizens to cease, so that peace may reign across all lands as people everywhere decide to live side by side in shared freedom, dignity, and respect. Wow.